so welcome back third year students today we are going to do a poem by Dylan Thomas and the name of the poem is Fern Hill this is the poem about childhood innocence and also about the lost innocence when childhood is lost so let us start with the poem now as i was young and easy under the apple boughs about the lilting house and happy as the grass was green the night above the dingle starry time let me hail and climb golden in the heydays of his eyes and honored among the wagons i was the prince of the apple town and once below a time i Lordly had the trees and leaves trail with daisies and barley down the rivers of the windfall light so before we start with the poem let me introduce you to dylan thomas dylan thomas is a welsh poet he also wrote a radio play but basically he is known as a poet and in the introduction to his collected poems he brought out his poetry as the love of man and in praise of god and it is a very carefully crafted verse and philosophical and intellectual tone is positive and affirmative in his poems we find a controlled sense of rhetoric there is orderliness in his work which contrasts with the disorderly and drunkenness of his personal life which he led to his early which led to his early death at the age of 39 and because he died very early it cut short his promising career there is no doubt that dylan thomas had a degree of strength and originality and he explored the worlds of childhood and adolescence very effectively and sensibly so let us start with the poem so as i told you that this poem is about the golden memories of childhood and it is a poem based on youth and happiness and about the beauty and glory of nature also it celebrates human vitality and joy and races through the day with all its pleasures so let us start with the poem so he says now as i was young and easy under the apple boughs so the title of the poem fern hill is based on the name of the farm house owned by his aunt annie so it was a farm house where the poet spent his childhood where he used to spend his vacations so he had a lot of memories attached to that farm house so he says now as i was young and easy under the apple boughs about the lilting house and happy as the grass was green so he says i was young and easy what did what did he mean by this word easy means he led a carefree life when he was young under the apple boughs so notice how he is enjoying nature about the lilting house lilting house means singing house the farm house seemed to be singing and happy as the grass was green he was happy during his childhood and grass was green means it is symbolic the greenery of grass is symbolic of the greenery of his life greenery means freshness his life has just be- had just begun he was in his early childhood and he was very happy and carefree the night above the dingle starry dingle means a small valley so he was a very observant child and he says that the night above 
that valley was filled with stars. Time let me hail and climb golden in the heydays of his eyes. So time gave him a lot of opportunity to welcome and climb that valley, that sky, to ponder over the sky, golden in the heydays of his eyes. His means time. Time gave him golden opportunity to enjoy his carefree days. And honored among the wagons, I was prince of the apple towns. Now, when he used to go to live with his aunt Annie, he was treated as if he was a prince. So, honored among the wagons. So, his aunt also owned an orchard and there were a lot of fruit grown in that orchard. So, these wagons were filled with fruits. So, he used to sit in those wagons filled with fruit and he was treated as if he was a prince. He was the loving, loved child. And once below a time I lordly had the trees and leaves trail with daisies and barley down the rivers of the windfall light. Once below a time. Notice this expression. So, he says that time gave me an opportunity to enjoy my life in the lap of nature when I used to spend time with my aunt in the fern hill. So he says, I lordly had the trees and leaves. So he was the lord of that orchard. He was the lord of that farmhouse, the trees and leaves. So the leaves of the trees were filled with daisies and barley and when they were dragged down to the rivers he was treated as if he was the lord of all that uh, nature. As I was green and carefree famous among the barns. So he was green. Green means fresh. He was young and carefree. So as we all are very carefree in our childhood, so was the poet. He says that I did not have any worries in my life. Among the barns, about the happy yard and singing as the farm was home. So he used to sing and he used to roam about the happy yard. You see, all the words are filled with positivity and beautiful memories. Singing as the farm was home. So the farmhouse, Fern Hill, was like second home for him. Home means a place where we feel comfortable. A place where we would like to go again and again. So that place was so cozy and comfortable, filled with beautiful memories, filled with love and honor for the poet. So he says that farm was home for me. In the sun that is young once only. Now here the sun is the symbol of childhood. He says there I spent my childhood which is young once only. Young once only means once the childhood is gone it is gone forever. So he spent the golden days of his life in this farmhouse. Time let me play and be golden in the mercy of his means. So his childhood was a happy one and he still remembers the beautiful, the golden memories of his childhood. So he says that time gave me an opportunity to be in this farmhouse to be loved by everyone, to be honored by everyone and I used to play there. Time let me play and be golden in the mercy of his means. It was the mercy of time that he spent his time, spent the time of his childhood in these beautiful uh, memories. And green and golden I was huntsman and herdsman. The calves sang to my horn. Now we can imagine that his aunt's uh, farmhouse, the Fern Hill, was a very large one. So he says, my days were green and golden. I was the huntsman, 
So he used to go with the huntsman and play the role of a huntsman and sometimes he used to play the role of a herdsman. So he was enjoying his life to its fullest. So even the calves sang to my horn. Horn is a small trumpet which the huntsmen keep. So nature was becoming one with him. Even the foxes and the calves, they were very, uh, they were behaving very natural with him. So the foxes on the hills barked clear and cool. So there were so many foxes there and so near that their barking was very clear and cool for him. And the sabbath rang slowly in the pebbles of the holy stream. Sabbath rang slowly. Sabbath is the church bell. Church bell could be heard very clearly because it was situated very near. So the sabbath rang slowly and the pebbles of the holy in the pebbles of the holy streams. Pebbles means small round uh, stones in the holy streams. So all the sun long it was running, it was lovely. The day, the hay feels high as the house, the tunes from the chimneys, it was air. All the sun long means all the day long it was running. It was me, it means the stream, the small river, the brook was running all the day long. And it was lovely. Hay fields high as the house. He remembers that the hay fields were so high that they were competing with the height of the house. The tunes from the chimneys, it was air. Now you see there is a very beautiful metaphor. He says, he compares the uh, smoke rising from the chimneys to tunes. Because smoke is not, uh, it never moves straight in a straight line. Just like tunes, it moves in a uh, zigzag manner. So he compares the, chim the smoke from the chimney to the zigzag movement of the tunes and playing lovely and watery and the fire green as grass. Now you see even the fire is green as grass. Fire is green as grass means fire was fresh. He remembers each and everything to its minutest detail. So we will continue with the poem tomorrow. Thank you.